I've been a fan of your work for a long time. And have you really, though? I have. Do you want me to test you? I, sure. OK. Was Tandy's first film called Jefferson in Paris, Beloved, or Flirting? Flirting. Ooh, you're good. I you trust were 16 you. 16 years old. Fuck off. And it was an Australian film <laughs> with Noah Taylor and Naomi Watts and Nicole Kidman. How did that come about? Because that's your first film, you're 16 years old. How do you even get that job? Because you're basically the lead in yes. that film. Yes, I know, it was a complete accident. Kind, it wasn't an accident, am I talking about? Ah, lie number one, hey? Um, it was not an accident in that. I was at a performing arts school. Dance was my absolute passion. You were a dancer. I was a dancer. And it was the summer I was supposed to be leaving, and I got a back. I had a terrible back injury, so I couldn't perform. Oh. And in that time, this audition for a movie came along, and I wasn't nervous about it at all because I wasn't an actress. He didn't know that, but you know. So in a way, it was the perfect. If I could say to someone, what would be the, you know, how do you get rid of nerves? Just pretend that it's not what you want to be doing. You know what I mean? Right, there's no stakes. There's no stakes. I had nothing to lose. And I got the job because I was curious. I was completely open to being taught how to do it. And this guy, the director, um, gave me the scene to read. And I remember, clear as day, I remember getting the scene. And I spoke every line like that because I thought to be an actor, you just had to be hammy. I, I don't know. And he was appalled. I could tell. It was like, what a time waster. And he said, OK, I've never heard it read like that before. Um, <laughs> and I wasn't offended. I didn't right. know what he meant. Um, I was like, OK, cool. Um, he said, I just want you to try again and just convince me that every word that comes out of your mouth is just occurring to you in that moment. And I sort of thought about it. I said, oh, you want me to lie? He's like, yeah, I guess. Yeah. And um, I sat with the scene. I was like, mm -hmm. I did it again completely differently. And I did it as though the words were occurring to me, because I'm not stupid. And because I guess I'd been in a kind of fantasy world as a kid anyway. You know, a lot of kids. I was one of those, you know, slightly lonely kids that yeah. would spend a lot of time alone, imagining myself in different situations, because I wasn't entirely happy in the situations that I was in. But I didn't really know that at the time. So I was just completely primed for this. And I got the job, and it changed my life.